Welcome. Welcome, everyone. It's a beautiful Sunday in London. The sun is shining. I'm happy. I'm ready to teach. I'm ready to meet all of you and say hello to everyone. Hello, Mariam. Hello, Mammy. Hello, everyone. Just everyone. Chala, new loggers. How you doing? Lavinia, welcome back. Ursula, how you doing, buddy? Hex, hex, hex. Always good to see you. Alexi, good to see you, buddy. Who else is here? Who else is here? Halima's in the chat. Hey, Halima. If you don't already, make sure you follow at Blackboard English. She's awesome. She's lovely. And she's a great teacher. Atsuko. Welcome back, pal. I feel like we're all best friends now. I think so, anyway. Um, if, if we're just good friends, that's fine. We can just be good friends. I won't be offended. So today, I want to practice the pronunciation of yesterday's video. And also, if you have any requests, we can practice those. So, anything that you want to practice in today's English and Chill, write it in the comments, let me know, and we'll do it. Okay? There's no problem. No pressure, no stress. Everything is good. Ada Emmanuel, hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Beatrice, hello from Brazil. Boa tarde. It's one o'clock in the afternoon here. So, boa tarde, tarde. Afternoon, right? I think. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So, who else? Who else? Who else is here? I love gluten came back. Hey, I love gluten. Elena Koroleva. Hello, Elena. How you doing? William. How's it going, mate? Mon Mon. Monique Diaz. Hey, buddy. So nice to see people coming back. I love to see it. I love to see it. Okay, I love gluten says. Business English. Official kind of conversation. That would be great. However. <coughs> however. Um, I'm making a series of business English classes. So... Um, that will do a better job than I can today. I'm HJ. Hello from South Korea. Annyeong haseyo. Nice to see you. Where in Korea? Where in Korea are you watching from? Thank you. Hex, hex, hex. I've noticed at least three times pronunciation of iron like iron. Really? Yes, hex, hex, hex. That's a very good question. So, um, and then Alexi, thank you, dude. We'll learn a lot from Ali. His lessons are always funny. Mate, mate, what a supportive group of people you are. You're all like really supportive and I love this energy that you give me. It's so nice. Okay, so I, iron, right? That was your question? Iron. Yeah, we pronounce it like I- Yun. Ayun. 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 Whoops. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Ayun. Oh, that's terrible. That's bad presentation, I think. I need to I need to work on my presentation. There we go. Maybe that's better. Maybe you can hear me better. If I put it right next to my mouth. Hello. You can live inside my mouth if you want. I, wait, no, phonetics. What am I doing? I, 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 I don't know about you, but I hate phonetics. Like, I hate it so much. I, no, I need to see a phonetic chart now. Okay, well, the end, <laughs> I know the end is this one. I, yun. There we go. R-E-I-I-N. Phonetic. See, this is what teachers do. When we don't know, we're just going to Google it. I'm just going to be honest with you. I. Oh, it's that one. I'm an idiot. It's not, it's not the schwa. Alexi, why didn't you tell me? Hex, hex, hex. Why didn't you tell me? Leading me astray. It's that one. 
Oh, you did tell, you actually told me in the thingy. Yeah, iron, iron. So that's how I would say it. We don't pronounce the r. We don't pronounce. We don't pronounce that. So let's um, let's just remove that then. There we go. Yeah, iron. Thank you, Lavinia. Thanks for helping. Um, Rosewater, would you mind explaining about connected speech? There's a connected speech video coming very soon, and I will be doing a whole one of this on connected speech. Actually, today we're going to do a little bit of connected speech. Not lots, but we will definitely do it. Okay, Natasha says Iron Maiden. Absolutely, yeah. Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Perfect. Skyzep, can you pronounce... This word. <sighs> or t thought. So the the is that one. Or t thought. The or t thought. 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 I had a thought. I thought a thought. That's a difficult one because you've got this one, the, and then this one, the, or, thought. And yes, of course, you can use the glottal T, thought. I thought you left. I thought you left. Gossia Eagle. Oh, great song. Iron Lion's Iron. Oh, great song. I haven't listened to Bob Marley in... So long. Every every time I listen to Bob Marley, I'm like, this is so good. I need to listen more. Yeah. Hello in Indonesia. Hey Indonesia, how are you doing? Talima Kasi for watching. Thank you for joining today. Um, I absolutely love people from Indonesia because you are the most supportive, kindest people ever. It's you're just crazy nice. I love it. I love it. Um, okay. KN, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa, buddy. How you doing? Um, hey, in Syria. Hey, Syria. How you doing? <laughs> God, the ideas. No, you're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. Fadil, how are you doing, buddy? Okay, so you know what? If you saw yesterday's video, I think we're going to go straight into it today. So, these were the sentences. Whoops. No, no. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Move it back down. Move it back down. There we go. These are the sentences from yesterday's video. Oh, no, that's not right. Oh, and then that. Boom. Why can't you just stay still, stupid screen? Just stay still. You have one job. These are the sentences from yesterday. And I want to call some of you on Instagram. So if you want to practice these um, with me live right now in front of hundreds of people, then feel free. I'll call you on Instagram at Papa Teach Me. Send me a message. Tell me that you want to join. And we're going to practice this using the sounds that we did yesterday. So, um, Lavinia, thank you for the super chat, Betty. Err, to use and the use are pronounced in this. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. No, to you to use as a verb, use. That's the voiced. Z, like a Z. Use. And then use. U-S-E as a uh, noun that's different. Use. Use. Same, almost same pronunciation, but the difference is <laughs> the voiced use. An unvoiced use. That's the only difference. Okay. Okay, so we already have. Um, I promised, I promised, I promised a few people 
that I would call you today. So uh, finally, finally, we're going to do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start with you. There we go. Let's see how this works. See if it works. Hello? 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 Hey, there you are. Hello, can how are you, you doing? Me? I can hear you loud and clear. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing good. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, my name is Mariam. Um, I'm from Nigeria, but I live in Turkey. You live in Turkey? Yeah. Which city? Um, a small city called Aksaray here. Cool. I don't know it, but my geography is terrible. So. <laughs> well, probably, you know, Istanbul and probably, you know, Istanbul, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, be actually, before I was living in a city called Samson and then I moved to Aksaray. Okay. Yeah. That's Sorry, cool. a bit nervous. Me too. Don't worry. Everything's cool. Everything is chill. This is English <laughs> and so chill. Bad. No, English and stress. Yeah. Everything's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah, among friends here. Yeah. Um, so, um, someone asked, Mariam? Mariam is your name? Yeah, Mariam. Mariam. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Ali. Um, uh, nice to meet you too. <laughs> nice talking to you. The pleasure is all mine. So... <laughs> Did you see yesterday's video? Yeah, I did. I watched it uh, this morning, actually. Awesome. Awesome. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, the first video was like 25 minutes or something ridiculous. So yeah, this one was a bit shorter. So I hope that was a bit more helpful. Okay, so... Yeah, it was like 12 minutes. Um, question for you. With your pronunciation... Have you noticed anything that you particularly like or don't like with um, the characteristics of British pronunciation? Actually, I love British pronunciation and it's been my, a goal of mine to actually speak, uh, to pronounce my words in a British way. Yeah. So I kind of, I would say I love everything about British pronunciation. Interesting. Okay, so... So far in the videos, we've done um, glottal tea, American tea, posh tea, normal tea. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yesterday's was H's and the L's. Yeah, the dark. Yeah. Right, right. So first about the tea, the glottal tea and everything. Um, yeah. Was there anything that you adopted into your pronunciation? Yeah, I would say I was able to uh utilize my teas more but be like better than before i would say yeah was it like, difficult for you before like you, i was able to use the glottal tea like uh for example what are you doing i'm not sure if that's correct yeah that's fine that's great <laughs> and then um what other sentence could i say could you like give me a sentence <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> well, um, can you see the YouTube uh, video right now? Can you see the three sentences? Uh, yeah, yeah I can. It's, my YouTube is kind of paused, but I can see the sentences there. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so, well, we have some options here with the, the T's, the H's, the L's. So, um, let's try the first sentence. Um, okay. Should I say it now? Yeah, whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready. All right. All right. Okay. Hello, May. What's his name? Is it Hector? Amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, Mariam, you're really, really cool. First of all... <laughs> Thank you. First of all, um, you said Hector. Really, really, really British. <laughs> it was really cool. Um, let me <laughs> Thank just... you so much. I just want to note that there. Ugh, Thanks. not that one. This, whoops, not that. This, there we go. Yeah, so if you're watching, you'll notice that Mariam pronounce it Hector. So American English, how how would American English pronounce that name? Do you know? 
director um, without the H. Oh, American English, sorry. Uh, I'm not really sure. Hector, like, will they turn the T to a D? Hector. In... No, it can be. Ex yeah, yeah, good point. Good point. They wouldn't change that T to a D, but the sound that would change is the the end sound. It wouldn't be Hector like we say it. Okay. It wouldn't be a schwa. Okay. It would be like Hector, er. Hector, yeah, 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 with the R. Uh, like yeah. Pronounced, uh, yeah, I yeah. remember. <laughs> ah, your American pronunciation is really good too. That's perfect. Yeah. So, American, <laughs> Hector. British, Hector. Yeah, Hector. Yeah. Okay, and then, sorry, can you say the sentence one more time? I want to make notes. Okay, the first one, hello me, what's his name? Is it Hector? Okay, cool. So she glottalized all of the T's. Sorry, I'm saying she like you're not talking to me right now. That sounds very rude. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Um, but speaking to the audience, so, and you also, you said this H... And I think you said this H as well, and this H as well. So, those are the focuses of today. The H's, the T's, and the L's, right? So, yeah. You sounded really British, and that was your chosen style. And the point yeah. is, that's cool. That's completely cool. It feels really good to hear that from you, because I've been trying, like... All the time I try to speak in like the British manner and I always get it from my mom. She's like, you have to learn the British pronunciation and everything. So, and also because I work as an English teacher, I want to make sure that I speak in a very clear accent at the same time. Mm. So yeah, it's kind of tough. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I hate when people say you have to learn the blah 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 yeah. accent like you have to learn british or you have to learn american or you have to learn posh like that no one accent is better than any other it's that such bullshit i hate that so much but so <laughs> i also don't like it but right? i guess sometimes uh because of the work environment it's like you have to have an mm. accent especially in turkey here as an english teacher they expect you to have an accent if you don't, it's almost like, oh, you're not qualified for the job. Yeah. So that, that's what pushes me to learn an accent, at least. And I prefer it over American. <laughs> yeah. Well, I always make fun of American accents because... <laughs> Who cares? It's like too relaxed or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, um, <laughs> okay, so that's number one then. Let's try sentence yeah. number two. Let's try that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, how much do you hate me? Is it a lot? No, wait. How much do you hate me? Is it a lot? Or is it a lot? I'm not sure. One, give me one more time. How much do you hate me? Is it a lot? Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. So you pronounced everything there. You didn't drop H's. Um, yeah. One thing I will say. Okay, so I thought I heard this before with the glottal t and this time yeah. when you said is it is it a lot yeah is it a lot ah okay that one was perfect that one was perfect so make sure your throat stops the airflow so is it okay. is it a lot is it is it a lot that was perfect that was perfect yeah okay. so i noticed okay. like last time you said is it a lot and you can yeah. hear the breath still coming out. So that's the difference. But okay. that second time, you were perfect. You were really, really good. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. No, no, mate, you're doing you're doing amazing. Okay, let's try number three. Okay. I have to work at the hotel. Uh, sorry, wait. I have to work at the hotel late today. Why did you say, okay, wait, and then try again? <laughs> Because I thought it was like another sentence, so I can I was it, just a bit nervous. That's why. <laughs> okay, no, that's good. I thought you were trying to like correct your pronunciation or something, but if you weren't, that's yeah. good. Yeah. No. What? I have to work. No. The, late today. Yeah. The idea is whatever comes out of your mouth naturally, yeah. it's the correct answer. That's the correct answer. <laughs> so there's no. There's no, oh, I have to pronounce it a different way. N no. Yeah. 
These are all options. If it's one of the characteristics, that's all that matters. So yeah, you do what I do then. So you said I have to. I do that. Yeah, work as the utility to be. Yeah, yeah. So when it's I have to, she has to, he has to, I always drop the H because I'm lazy. It's like uh, <laughs> I, I, have. I yeah. Wait, uh, uh, yeah. F F two. I have to. I have to. Hello? Hello. Sorry, I was just writing to myself. <laughs> yeah. So when I say I have to, I drop the H and I say I have to. I have to. I have to work. I have to. Yeah. Or I have to. With a schwa. Both ways are completely fine. I have to. I have to work. I have to work. I have to work at the hotel today. Perfect. Perfect. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, so I'm noticing sometimes you use glottal T, sometimes you don't. Yeah. And that yeah. that is what I'm looking for, Mariam. That's the that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So I want you and everyone to hear this. You shouldn't try to make every T glottal. You shouldn't try to make every T the true tea or an American tea or a posh tea. The idea is just say it. Whatever yeah. comes out of your mouth will be correct. And you're slaying it. So, so no, Mariam, you're doing amazing. What are your plans for the rest of today? Um, just lay in bed. Great. I'm getting ready for work tomorrow. Do you have any ice cream? Uh, no, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't. Mate. Well, actually, just uh, had a couple of uh, hot chocolate, so that's also good. Yeah, that's also good. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> nice. Well, I hope you have some ice cream and some hot chocolate for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a lovely Thank rest you of your too. day. And you too. Thank you so much for everything you do. <laughs> no, mate. Thank you. Thank you for joining. This is a pleasure to meet you. See ya. Bye. Bye. What a legend. What an absolute legend. If you want to join, if you want to practice these, give me a uh, message on Instagram at Papa Teach Me. I'll call you live. We're going to practice British pronunciation. So let me just clear that at a new layer for the next person. Um, some of the comments. Let's have a look. I noticed some of you asked about uh, John Cork, English teacher. Where is he? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I think here's my theory um, because uh, he, he was calling out Trump being a fucking idiot. Um, Trump was saying something like he invented the vaccine or he, no, he paid for it. And it's all because of him that, the pandemic is going to end or some bullshit. You know what Trump does. And John was like, this fucking idiot, blah, blah. Um, and I think some people reported it. So Instagram um, have suspended his account for like, what, since yesterday. He's appealed it. He's asked for a review, but we're still waiting. Someone said it takes two days. Someone said it takes like three weeks for your account to come back. It's madness. It's madness. So John is still here. He's He hasn't gone. He's still here. Um, hopefully his Instagram will be back very soon. But um, yeah, some idiots who thought, I, I guess it's people who love Trump decided to report him i think i th that's my theory we won't know until until it gets um reinstated okay let's have a look some questions gal <laughs> ali are you real yeah no i don't know what do you think i'm not sure 
John, I like his energy. Mate, Fadil, I love John's energy. I love his fire. He is like one of my favorite people on Instagram. And if you saw like the last week, John was posting really motivational, really good stuff. And then ugh, some assholes who love dictators, I suppose, decided to report it. Um, hey, Marina S, how you doing? So heal. We've spoken before, right? You, I think you called and we spoke on the this thing. I think. So so heal so heal so heal. I think I think that was you. I'm not sure. Say hello to me, Ali. Hello. How are you doing? I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hi. Hello from India, Las Laskar. Nice to see you, buddy. Mariam. My favorite Turkish food is Iskender. I see this word a lot, Iskender. I haven't tried it, but I'm really interested because, oh mate, Turkish food. Mm. It's so good, it's so, so good. Um, Anastasia, is it right to say, open your books at page five, or should we say, open your books on page five, or something else? Open your books, Honestly, you could say um, all of them are fine. Open your books at page five. I might say on page five. It's not as common, but no one's going to misunderstand you. Here's the thing about prepositions. If people understand you, nothing else matters. Like, don't worry too much. When it's a phrasal verb um, and the meaning changes with a different preposition, then it's important. But things like open your books at page five, open your books to page five, open your books on page five. My advice would be, it's fine. They're all fine. They're all completely fine. Um, Blimar, hello from Poland. Hey in Poland, how you doing? Um, hey in Sudan. Hey in Sudan, how you doing? Uruguay, hola. Hey in Croatia, wow. Hey in Croatia, I don't I don't know if I have that many people following me from Croatia. I didn't know, but that's cool. Hi and welcome. Okay, let's, uh, let's have a look here. Okay. Uh, Oh, Alexi! Let's do Alexi. I see you in the chat. There we go. Alexi! Hello. Hey, mate. How you doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm doing good. See, you're in the chat one moment and you're in my phone the next moment. This is, this is technology. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> this is cool. Introduce yourself. Where are you from? Oh, I am Alexei and I'm from Moscow, Russia. Awesome. I was in Moscow a few years ago. Yeah, really? Yeah. I was living Did in... Did you enjoy? I didn't enjoy the winter. Actually, no. I enjoyed the snow in winter. But you know the period be between winter and summer where it's it's not hot it's not snowy it's just cold and rainy and windy and annoying i hate that and cloudy and yeah yeah right and, and it's no sun. yeah it's depressing <laughs> i yeah. didn't like that but summer amazing the snow amazing those two times in moscow yes love that yeah yeah i agree with you yeah totally um Whereabouts in Moscow? I was living in Molo Molodoznia. Molodoznia. Okay, Molodoznia. That it's not far from me. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was where yeah. I lived. Yeah, cool. We were neighbors. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, I was in London, I guess, six years ago. Yeah. Wow. What brought you to London? Uh, I learn English there so i 
I lived in the host uh, with the host family, right? Yeah. Uh, and the school was a pilgrim school. Uh, <sighs> How was that experience? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it, it was nice. Uh, two weeks. It, it was really awesome. It was really awesome. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I like also, that. Also, I was in Canterbury, right? In uh, where? Canterbury. 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 Uh, Canterbury. Yeah. I don't remember <laughs> how to pronounce this. I haven't um, been there. Is it good? Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> what can you do in Canterbury? Like, what? What's there? Yeah. It. It was the main office of. Pilgrim school there, so sometimes we live in London, uh, sometimes we live there. Okay, okay, that's cool. What did you prefer, Canterbury or London? Uh, I prefer Canterbury, it was quite uh, a lot of students, uh, but and it was uh, it was very beautiful place. London is, uh, to be honest, is like a Moscow, I guess. <laughs> Too busy, noisy, traffic yeah. jam, too expensive, and so on. <laughs> it's very true. It's very true. Um, okay, so Lavinia is asking about your job. She wants to know what you do. Uh, I project manager. Yeah, uh, so uh, IT project manager. Okay. So yeah. you're working from home at the moment, or? on my mood to be honest I uh, for three or four days I work uh, from the call mm. because of uh, isolation right yeah and one or two days I can go to the office. right 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 so you have the option you can go yeah, but I you have don't have to yeah that makes sense right. okay all right Alrighty, so um, Alexi, first of all, thank you so much for like being so awesome in the chat. It's always nice to have you in. Oh, well, thank you. And secondly, let's do these sentences. So when you're ready, let's do the first sentence of this pronunciation challenge. Okay. Hello, mate. What is what is his name? Is it is it Hector? Okay, cool. That sounds good. But I want to make your pronunciation smoother okay we're going to use more contractions here so first just hello mate hello mate cool next part what's his name cool yeah so it's always better to use the contraction like before you said what is his name it it doesn't flow as nicely right so yeah right Always go for the contraction. It just sounds better. What's what's his name? Yeah. What's his name? Exactly. And you have the option. You can drop the H. Like, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? What's his, what's his name? What's his name? Exactly. So, what's and what's his. his name? Yeah. So, it, the what's and his sounds like one word. What's his? What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? There, there, perfect. One more time, one more time, one more time. What's his name? Excellent, amazing, amazing. And the final part. Is it Hector? <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, um, so you didn't glottalize that T. Uh, one more time, one more time. Is it Hector? Yeah, nice. Now, if, if you wanted to make it more flowy you could glottalize that t so is it hector so you're stressing the he hector so is, is it, it hector? yeah that one one more time is it hector nice really nice try the whole sentence hello mate what's his name is it hector Nice. Really nice. Well done. Well done. I really like that. That was so cool. That was so cool. Yeah. Um, really, really nice. I love this. Okay, so number two. Number two. Let's try. Okay. Oh, mate. What's his name? 
much do you hate me? Is there a lot? Okay, okay, I'm noticing a pattern here. So when you say, is it, something seems sticky. I don't know how to explain it. It's like it, it doesn't flow as nice as I would like. So we're going to work on that. Is it that a lot? That sounds good. That sounds really good. So maybe for you, the, the true T might be a better option. Try one more time. Yeah. Is it a lot? That sounds great. I love that one. That one's really good. Yeah, no, I love that one. That one's great. Okay, and number three. I have to work at the hotel late today. Uh, okay, I was trying to figure out what sounds weird, but it's the pronunciation of hotel. So you stressed the first syllable. You said hotel. Uh, but hotel, no, we hotel. stress we stress the second syllable. Hotel. Hotel. Right? So one more time, but okay, repeat with me. Hotel. Hotel. Perfect. Now the whole sentence. I have to work at the hotel late today. You did <laughs> Oh mate, don't worry, but you did it again. <laughs> Hotel. Yeah, yeah, I know it's hotel. it's difficult to immediately change the pronunciation, so don't worry. We're gonna go slow. Okay, so um, let's half this. Uh, let's do. I have to work at the hotel today. Uh, that was good. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. I also I'm hearing what you're doing now. So you said ho hotel. Hotel. Yeah. So it's not ho tell, it's ho. Say this with ho. me. Ho. Hotel. 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 Yes. Hotel. So there's an O. 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 Yeah. Hotel. 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 Nice. Now faster. Hotel. Hotel. Amazing. Amazing. Um, Okay, we're going to do it slowly in pieces. So first... The hotel. The hotel. Good. Work at the hotel. Work at the hotel. Ah, don't lose it. Don't lose it. Work at the hotel. Work at the hotel. That one. Perfect. Good. I have to work at the hotel. I have to work at the hotel. Nice. Dude, Alexi, you're smashing this. This is brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Whole thing, whole thing. Let's do it. I have to work at the hotel late today. Yes, Alexi. Yes, mate. You did it. Well done. Oh, thank you. Smashed it. <laughs> really well done. I'm so happy. That was yeah. really, really good. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. The key thing for you is to remember we can. Um, let me put a new thing there. Hmm. We can make what's his name one word. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Perfect. What's his name? What's his number? What's his... I don't know. What's his job? What's his job? What's his job? Nice. Nice. Exactly. And pronunciation of hotel. Hotel. Lovely. Perfect. Alexi. Ah, dude, you're amazing. Well done. Really well done. What are, your much, what are your plans for today? Uh, to chill. To, uh, to chill. Then I have to learn something. Uh, for, uh, I have a, less, a course for data science. So it's an additional course for me. Yeah. Think that's all. <laughs> that... Maybe I, uh, I'll watch uh, some TV or a movie. Yeah, mate, it's a Sunday. It's the day to chill. You don't need yeah. many plans. Just, right. yeah, get on the sofa, get a cover, get some ice cream and a dog, if you have a dog, and sleep. It's the best plan. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Have a nap. <laughs> yeah. 
Alexi, what a pleasure to meet you, man. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Cheers, man. Say hello to Moscow for me. Okay. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. What a legend. This, you know what? I can always guarantee that the people I call will be cool. Because you guys are all super, super cool. I Like, all of you. You're, I friggin' love all of you. You're just so cool. Okay, reading comments now. I haven't neglected you, I, I promise. Atsuko. Atsuko, can I just say I appreciate you so much, Atsuko. You're always in the chat. You're always, like, super nice. Um, Lavinia, too. I really appreciate your support. I see you, and... I appreciate you. Thank you. And Mami Mima and all of the... Okay. If you notice the names in green, those are the members of this channel. Uh, you can join as well. There's like a join button under this video. Um, And the the names in green, they're just like the, the coolest people ever. <laughs> Atsuko. Me? Do I seem nice? Yes, Atsuko, you do. You seem very, very nice. Lavinia, I pronounced hotel very wrongly. I don't know why. Um, don't worry about it, Lavinia. I mean, the reason that I put this is that's the traditional way to pronounce it. I will still understand if you said hotel. I still understand it because there's not a similar word. But the way that we pronounce it usually is hotel. And that's that's how we pronounce it. So it's always good to learn the proper pronunciation so you can understand people when you come here. Um, and also, yeah, if you have a preference, if you want to learn British pronunciation, you know, it's just practice. So Lavinia, don't worry. You do, Lavinia, you're doing amazing. You know, I, I see your stories on Instagram. You study very hard. You study very, very hard. Ursula, how you doing, buddy? Um, I have some questions about the different L sounds. Ursula, what are your different questions about the, the L sounds? Fadil, Ali, did you pronounce nothing, become nothing and amazing? Amazing. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I will drop the G. Are there any in this? No. Okay. Let me just hide these. Just just for now. Only for the moment. Only for the moment. Sometimes I will drop the G. Amazing. It's amazing. Uh, what was the other word you said? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. I often do that. Not all the time. But yes, sometimes I do. Okie dokie. Where are the sentences? Here they are. You know, I want to keep up those as well. I want to keep this this highlight up because I think those are important. Um, those are important points. Pat M. Hey, Pat M. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the ebook. You're more than welcome. If you haven't got the ebook, it's free. It's from puppeteachme.com. You can get um, a free ebook to follow the course, the course of videos. Uh, again, it's free. You just type your email address. I send you the ebook. It's free. Andrea, welcome to the Papa family, Andrea. How are you doing? How the devil are you doing, Andrea Veloso Clark? You're just a fantastic person and welcome to my family. Um, yeah, for the new, for Anyone wondering, you can become a member of this channel in the join button. There are two options now, actually. So you can become a member of this family. So I see all of your messages in this live chat. That's one. Two um, is I'm going to do monthly video chats. But that's at a higher level and that's more exclusive. So not many people can join that. But you have options. Um, same on my Patreon. I have a speaking club on Patreon. You can join that. So, again, 
I'm all for options. Hex, hex, hex. Ali, would you explain, please, the difference between H in hotel and H in hate? The second one sounds harder. That's interesting. Ho hotel. I hate the hotel. Hate the hotel. Hate the ho. Hate the hotel. I think it sounds harder because of the vowel sound after. Hate. Hat. Yeah, I think it's if the vowel sound is an ah, you have a wider mouth. Ah. Hey. Ha. But ho, your mouth is smaller, so it feels less strong. I think that's why. Hex, hex, hex. Atsuko. Oh, see, Atsuko, you are nice. You're like, welcome to the family. Lavinia. Ali, do you like the TV series The Crown? I like it. Um... I'm only on the first series, though. I haven't finished the first series, so... Um, Andrea, new member, if you type something in the chat, your name comes in green now, and you get an icon next to your name. Not just for the live chat, for the videos, too. Um, Alexi Milutin, is it a nice day today? Honestly? For November in London, it's pretty nice. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. Andrea, there you go. Hello. How are you doing? See, you've got the little Papa logo next to your name now. How cool is that? Um, Rodrigo, the Brazilian English teacher. Welcome back, buddy. Senna. Um, oh, okay. That's an example. That's cool. That's cool. Alex, where can I get the ebook? I have two ebooks. You can find the links in the description of this video. PapaTeachMe.com, that's the free pronunciation course. Don't pay for pronunciation courses, you don't need to. Get the free one. <laughs> it, you're learning the same thing, and it's free on my channel. So, just saying. Marina S. Ali, your book is amazing. Marina S., you're amazing. Vitor. Going to London August next year. Hope I can meet you around the city. It'll be cool. If you see me, high five time. Because that vaccine is coming. Boom, boom. It's going to be the end of Corona next summer. That's what I'm hoping. Please. Henan. How about Peaky Blinders? Their English is hard though. Yes. You know why? Peaky Blinders. Alfie Solomon. Tom Hardy. He mumbles anyway. In all of his movies. Like... Um, it's not it, that's just not clearly speaking that's not a pronunciation style that's just mumbling but everyone else has um a birmingham accent it's called brummy i will do a video on um, birmingham pronunciation That's that's why it's difficult to understand Peaky Blinders. It's not a London accent. It's um, Birmingham. Except for Alfie Solomon. He is London, but he doesn't speak clearly. So just so you know. Um, yeah, let's get through it together. Lavinia doesn't like Peaky Blinders. Why not, Lavinia? That's interesting. Not many people say they don't like it. I mean... I'm not crazy about it, but I still, yeah, I, I like it. It's fine. Um, Shiva Mihan. Hi, Ali. Would you do an elocution class helping me fix my intonations? So first of all, um, don't think of it as fixing anything. Um, secondly, Connected speech really helps with this, and I have a video coming in how many weeks? I think next month. Yeah, next month I have a big connected speech video. That will help you with what you want, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, oh my god, every Sunday this question. Sidamed, dear Ali, when do we pronounce the T in often? <laughs> You can choose often without an H or often. It doesn't matter. You choose your favorite way. They're both correct. 
It's like either, either. They're both correct. You just... Sometimes I say either. Sometimes I say either. Sometimes I say often. Sometimes I say often. It's your choice is based on your mood. You know? Never thought to do impressions. What? I mean, I can do Alfie Solomon. So Tom Hardy will speak like this in every single active role I do. You have to understand that I don't do other voices. Alfie Solomon. Bane from Batman. See, it's the same voice. I shit you not, it's the same voice. Do you think they sound authentic in Peaky Blinders? Yeah, pretty much. Scott Weaver, were you always so handsome? Yes. <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I have crushing anxiety about that. So, no, I don't think that... Uh, I don't agree with you, but thank you. Oh, MSMS, MS, did you comment on my video about illness? Because someone asked this question. If someone is ill and he gets well, how do you call that? Great question. Yeah. You can say you get well, you get better, or you get over your illness. You get over your sickness. So, example, um, I was sick in March, um, but I got better in two weeks. That's, okay, that's how I would say it. Yeah, I was sick, but I got better. But if you said it now, um, I, I was sick, but now I am better. I'm, I'm better now. You know? So, you have options. <laughs> Lavinia, I love your video about football you did with Tom Tom. My best friend Tom. That was 2012? No. 2014 at least, no? Yeah, um, Tom. Papa Teach Me Tom on Instagram. He's my best friend. I've, I grew up with him. And um, I'm hoping from next year... You'll see a lot more videos with him. I already made a course with him, so... Um, yeah, you'll see him a lot more. Yeah. The how you Tom Hardy, yeah. Don't encourage me to do impressions, because otherwise I just will. And you'll all be very bored of me, I'm sorry. Um, Anshal Debas. Take my name. Where? Where should I take your name? Fernando Maya. Hi, Ali. Does the final dark L become a normal L before vowels in connected... Sp oh! What a question. What a question. Yes. Okay. And, and I can show you right now. Okay. So, hotel. Whoops. Not that. Mm, here I am. That's fine. Yes. Go away. So, Hotel. The final L in hotel should be a dark L, right? The L is at the end of the word. So, I don't have my mouth. Oh, I have this mouth. Okay. So, the tongue, for me, hotel. You see? Isn't my tongue is? Hotel. That's where my tongue is. Like I said in the video, it will depend on your tongue shape, size, position, according to your teeth. So there's no one perfect place. It will depend person to person. But that's me. And that's my dark L. Um, but great question. Amazing question, Fernando Maya. Thank you for asking that question. Can I pin this? Because that's a brilliant question. Oh, I can pin it. Nice. <gasps> I didn't know I could pin messages. What an idiot I am. Okay, anyway. Um, so, if we're going to do connected speech, because this word be uh, finishes in an L, this word starts in an L, and, as we learned, if a word begins with an L, it should be the light L. And my tongue, these are my teeth, right? My tongue will hit the alveolar ridge you don't need to remember the name but the 
skin part behind the top teeth. Like here. La, 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 la. That's the light L, right? La. Late. Late. Hotel. Late. Now, we can connect these because if we separate the words, have to work at the hotel late. I could separate them. Maybe I want to emphasize I'm unhappy. Like, ugh, I have to work at the hotel late. Again. Mm. See? But if there's no feeling, it's just a sentence. Hotel late. Hotel late. Oh, hello. Hotel late. Hotel. I have to work at the hotel late. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so now I smush the words together. So it's like one word. I have to work at the hotel late. Yeah, okay. I smush the words together. Let me put one here. Hide that one. There we go. So these two L's come together, right? That's the idea. So that now has a vowel sound after. So hotel late, hotel late. It's not two separate L's anymore. It's just one single L. And because there's a vowel after, light L. Great question, Fernando. Have to work at the hotel late today. But again, you have that option. I have to work at the hotel late. Right? You have options. You have lots of options. Okay. Thank you for that question, Fernando. That was great. Um, <clears throat> okay. Cool. Let's do a few more. MSMS, MS. we really enjoy your live stream. Thanks very much. Oh, mate, I'm. Thank you for joining. It's my pleasure. If, uh, if I can help your Sunday be a bit happier, then I'm happy. Muneva, hi from Turkey. I love your English video. I always watch you. Thank you. Teşekkür ederim. Nesselson. <laughs> Rio said, without front teeth, you cannot pronounce L. Could you? No. I mean, you could. It would definitely sound different, though. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I think so. Thank you, elocution, ex uh, Shiva again. Thank you, elocution classes are very expensive and they all seem to have a repetitive pattern. Looking forward to a connected speech video. Yes, Shiva Mihan, that's very, very true. Um, they do have a repetitive pattern. The reason I made this pronunciation course free is because there is no need to pay for a pronunciation course. Not like none. You can, f even this course, in my, well, in parts of all of my videos, you can find the same information. It's all there. So, like, why would you ever pay for a pronunciation course? Um, so, yeah. Also, uh, with elocution classes, what bothers me is they will tell you that you're not good. And that's not true. Um, you're basically, you're paying them money for them to tell you that you suck. Like, where's the fun in that? How's that nice? You know, that's, that's not where your money should go. To, to invest in your studies is one thing. Okay, learn vocabulary, learn grammar, learn how to communicate. Don't pay for pronunciation that's just just no you know okay your turkish pronunciation is so amazing 
Mohammed is a so this the other thing I'm sure that my Turkish pronunciation was not amazing but I really appreciate how supportive you are that's so so nice um yeah oh by the way just to be clear I say free but of course YouTube pays me like in ads I'm not I'm not starving you know like when you watch a video and the ad pops up that's that's where I make money. So there's no need for me to charge extra on top of that. So like, don't, I got a message the other day. Someone said, um, they weren't, they, they weren't going to download the video, the ebook because they felt they should pay for it. I'm like, what are you doing? No, this is the wrong way of thinking. Just download it. It's free. Um, Nikolai, thanks for the super chat, man. Um, do my lights still flash when that happens? I don't know. Alexi, thanks for the lesson. You're amazing te teaching us every week. Emma, hi. Konnichiwa. How are you doing? Um, oh, yeah. Who's downloaded the ebook? Can we get a quick emoji show of hands? Who's downloaded the ebook? Omid, when will you shave your beard? N dude, never. This is like the shortest I'll make it, I think. Per M's got it. Steph Castle's got it. Ivan. Matilde. Badil. Pavel. <laughs> Pavel's got the ebook and he dabbed. Nice, I like it. It's really, really cool. Uh, new loggers, nice. Lavinia, of course. Uh, Elianzari, nice. Attico. Oh, mate, this makes me very happy. Oh, okay, that's a trillion people. That's a trillion people, at least. Your book is like a Bible for me. Is it Lavinia? Can I be your new religion, please? Is that, can I do that? Because then I don't have to pay tax. I don't want to pay tax. Where can I download the ebook? Great question, V Kazumi. V Kazumi, you can download the ebook at puppeteachme.com. The link is in the description of this video. It's free. I will email it to you. Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. So we're going to finish there. This has been really fun. It's been really fun. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back next Wednesday with a new video next Saturday with unit three of my pronunciation course, which is free ebook puppeteachme.com. And of course, next Sunday, 1 p.m. London time, join me here for English and chill. If you want to practice your pronunciation with me, have a chat with me, message me on Instagram at puppeteachme. And I'll see you next time. I love you all. Kisses and hugs and love.